Hello there, video world. Um, this is Only a Messenger. Thanks for uh, joining us again here. And um, what we want to, what I want to talk today about is prayer. And uh, the idea uh, came to me last night. I was uh, I was praying for somebody a few days ago, and um, I went back over there and, and saw the person again, and somebody very dear to me. And so I was um, you know praying for them again. And uh, the person said, thank you so much for that prayer. I really feel better. And uh, in a nutshell, it was just prayer for comfort and peace and, and uh, just an inexpressible joy, as the Bible talks about, and peace that doesn't come from this world because they're going through kind of a tough circumstance in life and, uh, so to speak, needed that. Now, I want to say this before I share what it is that God actually shared with me because it was really interesting when the person said, um, thank you, it worked. Uh, I felt like it was a magic potion almost or something, and don't get me wrong, I understand that prayer can um, create immediate results, and um, I would just think of it like shooting an arrow and hitting your target, and, and bam, your prayer worked, and um, there's a lot to this, though, and, and I want to start off saying this, this is, if we're talking about prayer, there's no way... I could do prayer justice. Hundreds and hundreds of books have been written about prayer. There's no way in my five or six, seven minute video, whatever it's going to be here, that I could express or explain prayer to where you're like, got it. Now I have perfect understanding of prayer. Let's start doing this. Is, um, But maybe what I say today will help in one way. So what God shared with me is instead of looking at our prayer like an arrow that hits a bullseye like we were talking about, is to look at it more like a brick. Um, every time you pray, just imagine that you are like laying a brick around your life or around the life of the person you pray, your son or daughter, family member, whatever. And But every single prayer is just one little brick. And what you're doing is you're building a, a hedge of protection, so to speak, around you, around them, around our lives that gets bigger and bigger and bigger and taller and taller and, you know, whatever. Um... As we pray, every prayer is a brick. That's what he was sharing with me. Now, once again, can he answer prayer and have something to be immediately done? Absolutely. Does it all the time and and uh, did it in his word. To me, if it's in his word, it's possible. It's the way it is. Um, but what he was sharing with me is, think of it this way. A lot of us tend to live our lives the way we want to live our lives. You know, we live for doing what we want to do, when we want to do it, how we want to do it. God calls us, we're like, okay, later, I'll get to you, I love you, good night, you know, blah, blah, blah. No real time for him. Then trouble hits or something happens in our life and we're like, oh, Lord, I need help. Let me pray, you know? The truth is, is in his word, and, 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 and you have to be careful saying this, but in his word there were many times where this happened, you know, people would live for what they want to live for, and then something happens, and they start praying, and God's like, I won't listen. I will turn my ear from you. I'll turn my face from you. I won't listen to your prayer. Wow, that's not a real good feeling, but it's also biblical. And so, not trying to scare you, so to speak, but at the same time, is just think about that, that if you say a prayer and something doesn't happen, but you've been living for yourself... Maybe you need to pray a little more often to get God's attention again through sincerity more than just, Lord, I need some help. Now, saying that, I want to go to an actual biblical verse, and I put it up here in my other screen, and it's, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. It's Psalm fifty fifteen, And once again, pray without ceasing. A long time ago, when I had read a verse, uh, meditate on God's word day and night, I started thinking, how in the world do you meditate on something day and night? <laughs> how do you think of God all the time, you know? And then it hit me. I thought, I used to be very big into wanting to make a lot of money and, you know, having a business and everything. And I was also once a little bit younger and girls were always in my mind. And so think of it that way. If you're a guy... Have girls always been in your mind at one point in your life? Or in my case, when I was running my business and everything else, I was always thinking ways to make more money, okay? I lived with a calculator next to me almost. And uh, so point being, 
is God kind of shared with me through that because I was like, well, how do you, you know, meditate day and night? Well, I guess I was. I was meditating on either girls when I was way younger or on money day and night, just like a lot of people do now. Hopefully not you, but possibly you. So if you are, it is possible. You just have to, you, you, you meditate on what you love and what you care about. So, uh, same thing, pray without ceasing is the closer you are to, in your relationship, which is obviously the whole key, is to God, is you're just constantly talking to Him. I mean, you know, Lord, what do you think about this? And hey, Father, what do you think about that? And God, here, I'm looking to do this. What do you think of this? And But just think of it as laying a brick every single time. And it the, the brick, it's, you know, the, the enclosure or, or the building, whatever, you're building on a nice foundation, obviously, is His Word. It grows and grows and grows and grows and grows. And it protects you and or if something does hit you, you know, let's say it's, it's raising up like a shield and something gets through it or past it or around it, maybe God intended for something to wake you up or, or to get you off of thinking about you or whatever it is, because sometimes he has to allow things into that enclosure in order to bring us closer to him. Think about it this way. Oftentimes, it's the bad things in life that happen to us that bring us to our knees, not the good things. So, of course, we all uh, love to pray for peace and prosperity and provision and um, patience and purpose. And, man, I'm working on the peas, aren't I? Uh, the prayers for peace. So, but all those things, you know, God's power or whatever. And, yes, you're laying a brick around each, you know, each prayer is like a brick. And it can build up a bigger and bigger and bigger shield of protection or foundation, whatever. But if something gets through, don't think, well, God didn't hear me. God, uh, go back and, and watch my story. God, I need a spanking. God might be trying to get your attention on something. And um, like I said before, and I'll just leave it at this, is many times it's the things that hurt us that bring us to him. So uh, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Um, just a quick recap on it is, if you're living for yourself, just, you know, God's kind of way back on the back burner somewhere, you know, uh, important level number 52 when he says he wants to be in first place, and God's in 52nd place back there, and then you're like, oh, Lord, this is getting bad, this is rough, I pray to you now. I hope he answers. I truly do. But his word has said otherwise on occasion. So, um, something to think about. Number two is constantly keep Praying. Now think about it, if you knew you were building an enclosure of protection and, and everything that, that we think we need, but protection and provision and all the, the P's I said and, and many other things, how often would you pray? I mean, <laughs> we could pray every moment, you know, Lord, uh, yes, Lord, another brick, Lord, another brick. But obviously he's looking at the sincerity of your heart too, that you're really reaching out to him and want to know him, not just praying all about yourself again, is... And that was what he wanted to share with me that he wanted me to share with you. So, only a messenger. Thanks for being here listening. Hopefully that um, um, gets you thinking in some way. Thanks for being on my channel. I've got a website, onlymessenger.com. Be sure to stop by over there. We have a way for you to continue um, helping spread the um, truth of God's word without even having to say a word, which is awesome. Make sure you comment, subscribe, like. Definitely appreciate those. And definitely comment. I look forward to seeing more and more comments. And um, I'll try to answer as many, if not all, or whatnot. And uh, I'm not the uh, Mr. Know-it-all about the Bible or anything else like that. I don't want to pretend to be. Um, but if you say something or if you ask something, I definitely want to be there to respond. And uh, so once again, subscribe, comment, like. I, I think I'm doing that right. And uh, thanks for watching once again. Check out our website, onlymessenger.com. God bless. Talk to you soon.